Welcome to the Pfeiffer Emergency Bridge Replacement Visualization. The visualization was created to outline the steps to place the girders across the canyon. The technique is called launching and it is used to build the girders along the roadway alignment and then they are pulled into place minimizing the need for temporary works. What we start out with is a pictorial of the canyon with the old bridge removed. The process begins with installing piles in the bottom of the canyon, then a slab to support temporary towers. These heavy-duty towers will use to support the weight of the bridge as it is pulled out across the canyon. On top of the towers are a system of rollers and guides to reduce the friction and make sure the bridge is properly aligned and once it reaches its final destination. Atop of the, the abutments there are also rollers that are used to support the bridge as it moves across the canyon. Along the roadway to the north, beginning with a lightweight nose section which is used to increase the reach of the bridge as it moves out towards the middle support. The girder assembly comes in 15 segments. The first three are set behind the temporary nose and then the crane will need to be moved back and set the next three until all three girders, five segments each, are connected and ready to be pulled across the canyon. The weight of the entire assembly, once they're ready to pull, is over a million pounds. All of these girders will be pulled into place simultaneously with the use of high strength steel strands and hydraulic pistons. Each piston will cycle and pull the bridge about 12 to 18 inches. After each pull, measurements will be taken to check for deflection and alignment to be sure the process is proceeding forward correctly. The cycle will be repeated again and again in a painstaking process that will allow us to make sure that the girders are placed properly. This process will take two to three days to pull the full 310 feet. Once across, the girders are 15 to 17 feet above the roadway surface and will need to be raised to remove the support at the center, the temporary towers, and then lowered down onto their supports at the abutments. This process again is repetitive, lowering the bridge several inches at a time until it is complete. Once lowered and in place, more conventional construction work begins with the finalization of the girders lateral supports, completing of the formwork for the bridge deck, placing of that rebar, and then finally pouring the concrete for the bridge deck that will become the final roadway surface. The rails are then placed and the roadway striped and it can be open to traffic. Thank you for your time and learning about the bridge launching process and our hope is it provided a glimpse into the complexities the engineers must work with to ensure success.